Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be showcasing this game called Haven Dock. It's going to be available very soon to purchase, but right now you can actually download the demo. And in this video, I'm actually going to do some gameplay for you so you can understand uh, the type of game that this is. But it's a, like a base, it is a base building game, it's similar to the other games that I own, like Castle, Kingdom of Castle, and Timberborn. And that's what they're comparing it to. And these type of games are really up my alley. I, I like to, uh, you know, they, they, they're considered time wasters to me. Uh, they would This would be added to my time waster series where it's a game that if you want to spend a lot of time playing a game, these are the type of games. It allows you to burn through time, you know, and, and, and build and build as you go. And these aren't games that you complete in one day. These are games or even city building uh, games that take months, months to years to, to build. And I'm going to be adding this game to the, my Time Waster series. But that's, that's not a derogatory thing. It, it means that this game is one of those kind of games that has longevity. It's got some um, time you got to put into it to play it. It is uh, breathe easy and thrive in this cozy colony sim. Build a haven for castaways, manage resources, live your best life on the ocean, um, lead your humble settlement into a high tech society. All right, so why don't we start playing some gameplay. You can download the demo here off uh, the Steam platform and it's gonna be um, releasing very soon. Hit the wish list uh, button if you really wanna play the game once you see me playing the demo. So I've played the game for maybe a whole whopping 10 minutes just to kind of understand the mechanics a little bit, but we're gonna start a new game right now and you can see uh, what it's about. So as you can see, I've got a game saved here. We're gonna go um, to new game. And here you can customize whatever you want your, your character to look like. I'm just randomly picking stuff. I'm gonna call this character Tarkus, Tarkus. And then I'm just gonna confirm it. So here's Tarkus. And I got these this I'll beginning cinematic thing that you can watch that kind of explains to you that you've been kind of stranded. You appear to be stranded in the middle of you find And then like you, you hit the space bar to to bypass the that. And if when you go to play the demo, you can watch that video if you want. That's not what this video is about. So basically you've been stranded here on this island. And now you've got to build your Dock Haven Empire from these this little two by two square. So what you do is you use the mouse to to click on things. So that one's out of range. That one's out of range. This one's in range. That one's out of range. So at this point, you use the middle mouse button, holding it down to to move around. That one's out of range. What's going to happen later on is things are going to float by us. So the first thing we're going to need to do is extend the dock system towards resources. So I'm just going to do that for now. And then you move around with the W, A, and D command. And this way now I can, I can, um, oh, I can't reach, oh, I can't reach that one. All right, so now we've got to strategically figure out where we want to go uh, for the best resource didn't want to bring that up the big re the resources that we uh okay so let's move the dock i think strategically let's move dock there and then move dock here this gives me more access to the floating stuff floating by and once i collect a few items here then we'll because it is trying to tell me what I should be doing. The game is not just leaving me high and dry where I, I need to uh, kind of figure it out on my own. It says build a pump. So let's build a pump. Here's the pump. Let's build it right here. And what this pump does is it pulls the salt water out of, ooh, I, wanna get, I want that crate, out of the, out of the uh, ocean. But you actually have to physically stand here and pump the thing, and then it's gonna tell me I've got one portion. 
Then I'm gonna pump some more. It's gonna say I've got two portions. I imagine later on in this game, it's going to be an NPC that I hire to do this or a castaway that joins me on my dock haven to, to do this function for me. Right now I've got four, I'm gonna stop. You need to collect those four. And those four, you gotta click on it. That's why it's the red mouse uh, left button is blinking. So you collect them. Those go in your inventory. You obviously can't drink that. So the next thing this, the game system is gonna tell me to make is a way to distill it. But before I do that, I'm gonna collect some more resources because I kind of want these, these uh, workbenches to be close together. So I'm going to click here, then go here, go here. This way I can build a distiller right next to there. So now I go into the distiller and that's where I have to add the four salt water. Now I don't have to be at the distiller for that to do its thing, so I can collect that water at another time once it, once it produces. So I wanna make sure the biggest thing at the beginning here is to, to collect the resources that are, that are flying by your, your complex. And right now it says collect two water. Again, I'm gonna let that um, distiller kind of do its thing there for a sec. I don't think two are available yet. Uh, only one, yeah, because it takes 30 seconds, it looks like, to do one portion. And, and so basically, to get the two portions, that's a whole minute. All right, so let's extend the dock a little bit more. You know, because the, the, what we want to be able to do is collect as much as we can that is floating by so that we can continue building what we need to build. So let's go to distiller now, and there's two portions. I'm gonna collect those. And now it says build a workshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about making my base here a little bit more convenient and so that I can put my workshop, and you can move the assets around with the R command. See how I can move it around? And now I put the workshop in. All right, so let's go to the workshop. Now what it's going to do is from here, you can research things. So the first thing it's asking me to research is agriculture. So in the cost is too water to do that. So the research continues to run even if you're not at the station. So once you queue resor uh, the research, oh, and then it tells you that it's been done. So now it says build a farm. Okay, let's go to the food icon here. And I've got a birdhouse that produces, produces seeds. I've got a trap, attempts to trap and disable live birds. Okay, that's kind of, uh, let's build the farm. That seems to be what the game. Now, I don't want to build it quite yet because as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm kind of like really um, ADD when it comes to placing stuff and I want to make sure that it goes where I want it to go without crowding something else in so now I need to plant a seed and I don't ha I don't think I've got any so I've got to um so it's asking for a seed open the food and got to build the birdhouse so I think those kind of work in conjunction with each other but I'm probably going to need um more flower beds so I'm going to make sure I have room for for those and then if i go to here so it's um, every minute it looks like um raw fish optional so i can put a raw fish in there and i guess that might oh and that might speed up the the process refill optional item take outputs okay so i just gotta wait for the seed to get produced from that so i might as well well pick up some more items as they float by and you can still pick up the items that are underneath your dock which is nice all right so it says oh it wanted me to build two bird houses all right well let's put two of them there, there we go okay collect vegetables so i imagine i gotta first get the seeds i got one seed here so i can go here now and i can do it looks like you need four seeds to grow gives one lettuce so i need four seeds so you can see how 
grindy this is going to be early on, but once you can, there's got to be a mechanism in the game where castaways find you, or you you build your base to a to a place. Let's turn the map here. So maybe I got to build my base towards that chicken coop that's over there, and then that or that penguin where I start you know getting renown or something, and then people show up, and then I put them to work. I mean that's that might be a possibility of what you know what you do to um so i'm just waiting for the seeds at this point okay so i'm going to add the raw fish again yeah so the raw fish um seems to reduce the timer to 40 seconds instead of so the raw fish allows you to take 10 seconds off so just make sure that you collect the fish as they swim by the big fish that swim by you can't you can't net them uh, not yet that is so right now it's asking me for the two veg vegetables. It says, uh, attempt to trap and disable law birds, different baits attract different prey, producing different results. This flimsy trap is a tempest of chance to fail. I am not think I want to get into that quite yet. Okay, so can I reach that crate as it goes by? So yeah, it's a little outside my, so I should um, build some more dock on that side, but I'm gonna catch these guys first. So yeah, I'm gonna build some more dock going in this direction and this way I have more access to stuff I think that's a good strategy just to go wide with your with your structure and then uh, then you have access to stuff more stuff that seems to uh, come by because you can just run from side to side and it looks like it's all coming from that direction so it's basically going this way I need to go because it's all coming from that one direction, uh, the, the, the resources. Overall, it, it seems to be a well thought out game. I, I, this is as much time that I've put into this game as what you've seen here. Uh, this, you know, this is, uh, this is a good time waster game. It's a good game if you want to spend some time just putting around building and I like building games. Let's look at the seeds. I got two seeds there. So I picked up those two. I've got three seeds here. So I'll pick up those three. So now I'll go to the planter and then I'll plant the lettuce. And it looks like the lettuce is one tw 120 seconds. And I imagine if I add water to it, I reduce the time. That's actually pretty ingenious. So you can reduce the time things take and it's got an auto save. You can reduce the time t things take by adding optional items. So you not lo oh, come on. Oh, I guess I gotta not click on the actual station and actually pick these items up. Okay, and it looks like the planter and holds four. See, it's got four slots. So I guess I could have I could have added more. Oh, it says I can't insert anymore. I cannot insert anymore. So I'm not really sure um, why it's just using that corner. So I guess it's only one. Maybe the demo just made it so that it was, we'll see when it gets done there. Right? It's at 96, 97, 98. Okay, so what do, what do we got here? Oh, okay, so I can just pick it. So it looks like it only consumes one corner of the tile, depending on probably what it is. So maybe the lettuce animation is only that corner, but you plant other things in this box and they take up more space in the box. And you can see that it's growing. So they've added at least that to the game um, where you can see what's going on. Overall, I think this is gonna be a great game. Overall, I, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, what's it uh, telling me? Collect uh, another vegetable. So this is this has got uh, again. I'll probably have to collect some water, so might as well not waste my. I might as well be pumping water at this point. I guess you know while I'm waiting for things to do their thing, I might as well be pumping water and getting water in the distiller. Now the other thing you need to notice over here, what day you're on, uh, and then what your hunger in your in your water is, and when those get down. I imagine you start taking negatives or eventually you'll you'll die of thirst and hunger. So I'll take these items because you can still pump the water out of the ocean and, and, and take the items into your inventory. 
and then you go to stop and then go to the distiller and then add those and then take the two that it had already produced and now that's in my inventory now i can consume that water by clicking on it and you'll see that i i brought up my thirst i you know i'm no longer thirsty so there i got that now you can eat the raw fish it's just going to make you thirsty by doing it but because i had the extra water now i ate the raw fish that that allowed me to get all my um hunger back and then i just consume more water and the thing is is water water is only time you know it's you know you really just have to pump it out of the ground so for now i'm just going to eat the raw fish until i make a cooking spot which i imagine is going to be further in the video is they're going to ask me to hey why don't you uh, why don't you make something to cook those fish and i'm like oh yeah, yeah i should probably do that so i'm going to collect these four here i'm going to hit stop i'm going to stick them in here oh it looks like these cap out so you only can insert so much water into the distiller so you have to probably if you want to make masses amounts of water you make multiple distillers oh look, look at this they they are using the uh the second slot maybe that's oh okay so that's what that was is you can only put four seeds in there because there's only four slots available and then what's going to happen is once this output gets to four, it's not going to grow anymore because your, your box is full. So this is so, so basically it's now going to tell me I have two in that box when that hits. So and then the next one starts growing because I've inputted four seeds and I imagine the next one is going to grow here or grow here. So it allows you to only get four output. Per, you know, so it caps you, saying that you're gonna have to come back to this plant and, and collect these things before we'll grow you a fifth one, which is pretty nice. I should be collecting these items as they uh, as they go by. And as you can see, I can keep the window open for the garden while I do the harvesting as things go by so yeah as i thought yeah so the fourth one or the third one's coming here and it caps you at four so that's how it works in this game that's that's really cool and then i'll take these two and then it opens up the bed so now i can go and you know and then because i've got other seeds queued uh then four seeds queued they'll just continue growing in that bed so i might as well go to the bird house and see what we got here we got four seeds here because those guys are pretty much doing their thing. They're just, uh, and so I'm getting, I got 17 seeds available to me. So now I could go here and say, you know, why not Tarkus? Why don't I just start another um, bed? What is this, pine? You need four seeds to grow this. Pines are a good source of wood and gives two. Oh, so yeah, let's build some, let's do that. And uh, I added four seeds to that bed. Might as well add another bed in here. Cause they got enough seeds, right? I mean, those birdhouses give, and what's this? You need four seeds to grow this. You learn to grow organic burgers. Okay, let's do that. So now I've got three different food types. Oh, I missed that. Uh, going in those planterns and I'll just do some collection here. And what's nice is if you can grow your own wood in this game, then that saves you from running around to having to uh, collect stuff because you can just conveniently go to I can see this game being really promising because you can like I said in this game you get NPCs to do these jobs for you these tasks so I can just sit around and manage people where they manage the plots you know and uh, I might as well go here and pump some more water while while I'm waiting I think the distiller was uh, was full the last time I tried to put stuff in here so there's four available for me now so now I'm up to six water so yeah this is it in a nutshell I, I think the game is going to be very fun to play especially in its final stage this is just the demo and I'm having a great time and now that I've seen a little bit more I think I would have managed this a little differently I think I would have made sure I put the, the farms a little farther out, uh, the workstation in its own zone, and just spent maybe 10 minutes day one, day two. Oh, what the heck? Wow, 
Okay. So it looks like it's got, uh, well, what am I supposed to do to here? Am I supposed to put this out? Uh, oh yeah, I can put the fire out with, oh, no, no, so you want to put the fire out with just regular water. So I can, it has that in the game. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a fun game when it comes out. I mean, I mean, it's a fun game now. But yeah, now, so you basically used, I used up my water, and I could have used seawater if I wanted to, but I used up my distilled water and, and put it out. And it actually looked like um, it took less of the distilled water and more of the fret of the seawater to do it. So that's, uh, that's really interesting. Uh, so that if you're using a, something that you've had to process at least once, some precious processing of the water, then it's not gonna take you as much to put out a fire. All right, I think you get the gist of it. Let's let's just go to the screen here. You can change some of the default savings settings if you want. I, I turned down the sound so that we could talk. I could talk while you watch the video. I'm gonna hit quick save here because you can save it, and then um, go back to menu and say yes. I want to go back to the menu. So this is, I mean, just by looking at what they've got here in the in the menu. It really looks like it's gonna be a promising game. It looks like you're gonna be able to do a, make a lot of things. It looks like you might even be able to make boats. It, it looks really, really appealing to me. Let me just go back to the Steam page. Again, you can go to their page and download the demo. The demo is free to play. Here's some pictures. Yeah, it looks like you'll be able to, oh, it looks like you even can do submarines and go underwater. That's how, that's how much building you're gonna be able to do. This looks like it's gonna be an amazing game. It really does. Now they also have a Discord um, link. It's right here. You can join their Discord channel and, and then you can join the community and talk to people if you have questions or if you have suggestions. I imagine they have something there, but it really looks like it's going to be a solid city building time waster game. And I'm gonna be adding this to my Time Waster series and I'm gonna be playing the crap out of this game when it comes out and it's full release, which it says it's the first quarter of 2023. So really, really soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and a like and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.